What's up guys, Intel Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we did uh, Sand Kingdom, and basically got a p bunch of power moons in there, and it was a bit of a longer episode, I'd say, um, and mainly because I kind of lost track of time uh, playing this game, so yeah, sorry about that, but um, yeah, hopefully this episode will be a little bit shorter. I'm gonna try and make it shorter. But um yeah, so basically we're here at I think Lake Kingdom, I think it was called. And uh I think we got one okay, we got two power moons as you can see in the top left corner. Uh I'm just gonna explore this area a little bit more. And okay, wait, what the heck is this? Got like some type of musical note. Oh, okay, so we got these, uh, these, what's it called, uh, musical notes, like, from, uh, Super Mario Galaxy, so that's pretty cool. And nice, got it. With that, we get a, uh, Power Moon, which I haven't gotten yet. And there we go, taking notes, dive and swim. Alright, uh, I don't know how to get in there, but I'm going to see if I can find out. If I can't, I'm just going to go to that checkpoint that I got to in the last episode. But, um, yeah, I haven't played any of this off-screen. Uh, I know this is coming out, I think, Monday. It, that's because I've been uh, pre-recording a lot more videos, and this is Saturday right now, so... Yeah, the reason that is is because I'm going on vacation on a Friday, so I'm going to pre-record a bunch of stuff for uh, later. Alright, um, so I don't know how to break this. I guess we need some type of other ability or something like that. I don't really know. Anyway, uh... So let's go to this checkpoint here. So yeah, uh, at that checkpoint we were able to possess a uh, cheap cheap, and with that, it's actually pretty cool. You're you don't have a uh, an air meter anymore, and you also get to go really fast as a uh, cheap cheap. Because I feel like this is a much faster way to get through the uh, water and stuff than with regular Mario. But, uh, looks like we have to smash these, uh, boxes here. But now that we have, we can, uh, get through here. And, oh, okay, we only got a, uh, Power Moon coin there. So I'm guessing that there are four more that we have to collect in this small area, probably. Alright, well, it's not here, but we got some, uh purple coins instead which isn't that bad and okay there goes my cheap cheap uh okay I think I saw one right there I think I see one right here also so here's two of them so now we need just two more oh hey and we got that uh this blue guy I forget his name oh and he has one Okay, uh, it's not a um, moon coin, but it's a uh, power moon itself. Um, yeah, this guy's from, uh, what's it called? Oh, wait, never mind, it's not the same guy, I don't think. But, um, that guy's from, uh, Super Mario 64, so that's pretty cool. Got a little bit of reference to that. I don't know his exact name, but I remember kind of seeing him in, uh, Super Mario 64 and you kind of ride him around in a circle kind of all right so we're missing one moon coin <laughs> okay you can even have a cheap cheap up on the surface just flapping around all right and okay we got a Goomba with some type of like wedding gown here or wedding dress all right I didn't mean to do that 
Oh, right. I can't attack these guys with, uh... With, uh, the hat. I have to jump on them. You know, there's only, like... Only, like, the small enemies you can attack with, uh, your hat. But then the big enemies like that... Like, these small enemies here you can attack with your hat. But the big enemies, you possess them instead. So, yeah. Yeah, this game is really quiet, though. It's kind of surprising. Usually you have, like, a lot of, like, cool music and stuff. But here it's just... Very, very quiet. And it's kind of weird. Like, I know, uh, The Legend of Zelda was like that, but... You know, I kind of understand in The Legend of Zelda because... That game, you know, it's more of like... I guess it's supposed to be more realistic. And more of like a, uh, Real world type of thing. And so there's not really much music and stuff. So... Yeah, I kind of understand, but this is like, you know, usually Mario games, you have like different themes for the different worlds and stuff. But here we don't really have that. And it's kind of weird. Uh, anyway, we're, again, we're missing one more moon coin. Uh, looks like there's something here though. And of course I get hit. Uh, is this another moon? Okay, no, it's just coins. All right. I'll take that. And, oh god, okay good. We were about to lose a, lose a life there because we didn't have enough uh, air. Uh, I really like these those little like bubbles though. I want to actually go on one. These like little houses or whatever. Oh okay, so this is actually like a surface area kind of. Alright, get out of here. Oh, how, to, uh, how about now? Okay, <laughs> now we're good. Who we'll put this rock here? It's, it is, isn't it dreadful? Yeah, it is, cause I really want to uh, enter this room, but I can't because the rock's blocking the way. So I don't know how to prevent that rock from uh, being in the way. And okay, it looks like you only can enter through certain little bubbles like this that's actually really cool though it's like we're in like some type of like snow globe or something like that so that's actually really cool and it doesn't look like there's fall damage from Mario either which is also pretty awesome so I don't really like fall damage and stuff all right can we get in here yep there we go get a couple wall jumps and get a lot of coins nice Okay, so, uh, we're still missing that one moon coin. Can we enter through here? Yeah, we can, but I don't think it's there, the moon coin. Alright, maybe I'll go to the crazy hat store, because I saw that was over there. <laughs> okay, instead of elevators, we got water uh, to get from place to place, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, let's see what's in... Let's see what uh this crazy cap store has to sell, I guess. I mean, we don't really have that many purple coins, but... Okay, we could buy this. We could buy a snorkel. We could buy a sw swimwear. We could buy some stickers. Or, uh... Okay, that's his name. Dory. Rubber Dory. Or an underwater dome. Actually, we can't buy that, but... I'm actually gonna just keep what I have right now. Let's see. So I'm guessing, yeah, this is always the same. Oh, actually, it isn't. Or actually, it is, but these two are new. As you can see by the new symbol. But, um, you could buy a Power Moon. You could buy a Life Up Heart. I'm actually gonna buy uh, Mario's Boxer Shorts. Alright, let's go change now. <laughs> Makes sense, cause taking a swim anyway. You don't want your regular clothes to get all dirty. So um, yeah, we got the boxer shorts. Wait, what's in here? Anything? Oh, this is where we change. Okay, yeah, it is. 
So I think this is a good look for him. Oh, and you can even randomize it too, which is pretty cool. But um, I don't think it gives any like special like abilities or anything. I think it's just for like customization and stuff. And okay, we got one of these zipper things again. Is it in here? No. I was thinking the moon coin would be in there, but instead we got a little bonus area which will probably contain a different moon. So, just like in the last episode, we're getting moons like crazy. Alright, and that makes a bridge for us. Alright, I'm guessing this is where the... Okay, we need a key for that. Kill these little guys. Nice. Alright, unzipper this T-looking platform. I really like this. It reminds me of a uh, like Kirby's Epic Yarn or something like that, which is really cool. So I absolutely love that game. Same thing with uh, Yoshi's Woolly World and the new upcoming uh, Yoshi game. So all that's pretty cool. All right, now we're making like an L. Will this actually spell something out? Cause we got like a T. This one looks like an L. I guess that one was maybe an I. So, I, T, L, I guess, I don't know. Alright, we got the key right there. Okay, that does give us a power moon. And then we unzip this and all these guys die. Wow, okay. That's actually pretty satisfying. Can we move still? Okay, yeah, we can. Um, so I guess it doesn't spill anything. Or maybe L, T, no. It's kind of weird. Like, it should spell something, but it doesn't spell anything. Unless it's, like, some type of abbreviation for something that I don't know about. Anyway, uh, could we make that jump? I think we could. Oh, okay. Or we could just make the platforms ourselves. Uh, okay. What do we got here? Another zipper? Okay, was I supposed to jump off and get... Okay, never mind. thought we were supposed to jump off and get this one. But, okay. Uh, Got a little secret area here. And we got yet another power moon. So basically, two power moons in one area. See, so yeah, they're giving us power moons like crazy. So I can understand why there's like 800 of them. Oh god, I almost jumped off there. Alright, so let's go get that power moon over there that we got from the getting the key. And then we'll probably get another power moon from the uh from the five power moon coins. And then there'll probably be yet another power moon somewhere else that we probably don't even mean to get. Cause that's what it seems like to happen. But I really like that. Like, it's just like power moon after power moon after power moon. Like, that's not really like a bad thing. It's just so many collectibles and stuff. Alright, is this where the moon coin is? Or is this another secret area? Or nothing at all, I guess? Alright, this is bad. I'm gonna lose a life there. Yeah. Alright. Don't want to lose another one, though. Ah, uh, the surface is so high. Yeah, I'm gonna drown. It's not as bad as the one in Super Mario 64, though, where, like, Mario, like, actually, like, drowns, and you actually, like, get to see him for, like, a short period of time. But, um, in here, it's mainly just, like, you drown, and then he, like, jumps off screen, though. It's not as bad, I guess. See, so yeah, it's definitely in the water, cause like, you can see the moon coins itself, like, only appear when you reach the water and stuff. So, it's kind of weird that it only shows it then. So my guess is that it's only 
underwater. But the thing is, I can't find it. Oh, it's right there. I see it. Never mind. I got it. It's right above here. Nice. Okay, so now that we got all five, there's one right there in front of the main gate, I guess. Alright, now I can't really jump out of here, can I? Alright, what if I... There we go. I don't know what that move's called, but it's like a... Um, backward jump, I guess? That's not really a backward jump, it's like a side jump. Anyway, we got uh, another power moon right there. And, uh, we could go down. I actually want to see what's down here. Alright, actually, never mind. This will definitely bring us to probably where we're supposed to be. So let's go, uh, up then. Alright, camera angle. Work with me here. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and there's a cat peach right there. So I guess, is there a cat peach in every world then? Alright, we need a key for that. Um... But yeah, I guess so. Alright, we can't enter there. Uh, okay, so I guess the only way that we have is to go down here. But yeah, it seems like there's a cat peach in every level. And I'm guessing that every time you hit her, you get the uh, life power up or whatever. Which is a pretty cool reference, but um... I don't know why it's Cat Peach. And wow, yeah, this is really deep. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. Oh, okay, I did. But, uh, we have to get out of here soon. Whoa, okay, we got Captain Toad here. Mario, fancy meeting you here. That's right, it's me, Captain Toad. I'm traveling the world looking for power moons. Swimming with this backpack is tough. I don't even know how I made it here. Oh, but I discovered this power moon. Here, you can have it. Thanks, Captain Toad. Let's go swimming, Captain Toad. <laughs> nice. Alright, well. Now that we got that, I guess. Can we enter this tent or no? No. Alright, so pretty cool reference to Captain Toad and Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. And, uh, what else was he in? Super Mario 3D World. Alright, let me actually hit Cat Peach right there. Because I think she gives us the heart power-up. Okay, no, it's just a heart. I thought it was the heart power-up, which would give us six lives instead of three. But instead, it's just one single heart. Alright, uh, we could collect these, uh, Actually, how do you collect those? These purple coins right there. Alright, well I got one there. Uh, I really don't know where to go now. Let me check the map. Okay, so that's where we're supposed to go. But, uh... That entrance is blocked though, so it's kind of weird. But I guess I'll try again. Maybe I have to talk to that lady. See, so yeah, I've noticed I haven't really been talking to any of the uh, townsfolk much, but I probably should be. All right, there was a lonely or a lovely looker dress in this display window, but that monster came and stole it. He stole our kingdom's greatest treasure. Okay, so uh. Why can't I enter here, though? Okay, well, I guess maybe I have to go, like, to the surface and then go the way that I should be going. Like, maybe it's up here instead. Because that's my only other guess, basically. Yeah, so I guess I have to, like, climb up here or something like that. Okay, we gotta go 8-bit Mario here. Is this an underwater level? No? 
Oh, we got the music notes again. And there we go. With that, we get another power moon. Why does it look like these power moons look like they're red or something like that? Like, is it that they're more hard to get or something? Like, I don't really understand. Anyway. Uh, okay, so that just leads us out here. You've become quite skilled at being flat. Wow, thanks, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or an insult. Is he calling uh, Mario's boobies flat? <laughs> Alright, let's go talk to this lady. I can't stand that monster's vile henchmen. They still are beloved. Low card's dress. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but who cares? Uh, yeah, it looks like you're supposed to go here. But I can't get in there. Alright, let me collect these things. So maybe you are supposed to get like the snorkel or something like the swimmers wear. I don't know. Because like that's the only way to get up there. But it doesn't seem like they're allowing. Oh wait, maybe do you go here? You can get up to the roof with that shaft. Oh, okay. Here we go. Hit that P switch and... That opens a door for some reason. I mean, usually P switches activate like coins or something like that, or make coins into bricks, but instead we got that one that opens a door. Okay, so now with this, we're able to get to this high point here, hit this P switch that lowers that. Okay, so that will. Now, now we don't have to go through that shaft anymore. We can just go over here, hit that, and then fly up here. So that's pretty useful. Uh, let's see. So we got that over there. Okay, so that's where we were. And we got a zipper over here. How do we hit this? Like that. There we go. Alright, so we unzip that. Get a couple uh, purple coins there. Alright, nice. Wow, I actually did pretty good with that. Uh, let's see, can I get over here? Or no? Okay, I could. But there really isn't anything over here. Oh, okay, actually... We can hit that. Go over here. And then get these purple coins. And then hit that, go back over here. And then apparently there's something over here. Alright, another bonus room. Nice. Alright, this place kind of reminds me of a. Uh, either some place from like Super Mario Sunshine or some place for a. Uh, it looks weird. Like, it looks like something you would see in like school. Like, these little like blocked platforms like they remind me of like some block platforms I had like in school like when you were like learning in like third grade or whatever like about uh, like multiplication and stuff or like shapes or whatever Anyway, uh, so we gotta avoid these fuzzies here. I wonder if you can actually possess a fuzzy. I mean, I guess it would be kind of the same as the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, electric thing where you're just riding a rail, kind of. Okay, didn't grab the wall there. Yep. And I'm dead. Alright, that kind of sucks. Because now I have to probably start all over. Yep. Alright, let's see if I can find some shortcuts here. So that's kind of a shortcut. Going this way is a kind of a shortcut. Except you miss. 
All right, you know what? I don't care about this anymore. I'll do this off screen. Just a waste of my time now. Cause right now I just wanna beat the boss and then end the episode. Cause again, I don't really wanna make these videos that long. And again, like I said, last video was pretty long. Alright, get some more coins with those rings. Get that uh checkpoint. And now we got another brutal. So I mean we we already defeated two of them. So this is the third one. So I don't know if this is like a lot shorter of a game because like this is the third out of the four brutals. So are we like close to the end already? Hoya hoya hoya! You're too late. We already got the local 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 lady's dress. And it even matches the boss's tuxedo. Say no way, we're giving it back. Alright, so we're fighting this tall guy here. And okay, seems pretty easy already. Just gotta hit his hat and then turn into a flower, jump on his flower, and then. You hit him in the head. Ah, I missed. Okay, well I still got another chance there. And nice. I'm guessing he has one more hit. Or maybe it's two more hits. Cause like, the first boss, the first guy uh, that we did in the first episode, he was uh, he took only uh, two hits and then the girl took three hits but I guess I was wrong this guy also takes three hits and with that we got more multi moons and I don't know why they're like yeah they're a pinkish color in this galaxy it's kind of weird I don't really know why I mean they should be green like they sh are in every other galaxy I guess or world but uh anyway with those uh moons I guess we're able to uh get to the next world or okay we need eight more but that will probably be for the uh wooded kingdom which was our other option for uh where to go basically So now we have 39 moons in total, which isn't bad. But like I said, there's 800 of them, so it's kind of bad, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so now we go to the Wooded Kingdom, and then I'll end the episode from there. So yeah, the Odyssey... It's getting pretty much powered up here. It's a lot better than when we found it. But yeah, that light on the right though. It's not really working that well, but probably when we power it up more, it'll flash really bright. Whoever heard of a wedding with a stolen dress? Let's get after that tactless friend. Seeing as how we've got some time to kill, let's review some useful skills. Alright, spin throw. I know how to do this. Next, let's read up on the Wood Kingdom. According to this guide, there's a giant greenhouse there filled with flowers. It's a famous for its beautiful Sari bouquet. So I guess that's a bouquet of uh, piranha plants that Bowser gives to Peach. Alright, so here we got the Wooded Kingdom, Steam Gardens. And we'll do the Road to the Sky Garden in the next episode.
So, anyway, thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Super Mario Odyssey right here on Tone Nick. Bye.